Q is the maximum inventory for period T. This is period T, this is also T, so this will be 2T. This will be also T, so this will be equals to 3T. Inventory at T equal to 0 is Q. Inventory at T is equal to 0. So we have a so average inventory is Q plus 0 divided by 2, that is Q equals to Q by 2. Average inventory is represented by this line, which is Q by 2. So average inventory carrying cost is uh, average inventory multiplied by holding cost, that is a Q by 2 into CH. Number of orders per year is annual demand upon maximum inventory, that is Q by D. Annual order cost will be number of orders multiplied by cost per order, that is D by Q multiplied by CO. We will show this cost on this graph, which, uh, which has the y-axis is total cost and x-axis is order size, that is Q. The annual carrying cost will be a straight line passing through origin. Annual order cost will go on decreasing as the order size will decrease, as the order size will increase, we make a discount. So the cost can be decreased like this. The sum of this annual ordering cost per carrying cost is called as total cost. The total cost is very high initially, then it is go on decreasing, it is a minimum at this point. This point is called as economic order quantity and then it is again go on increasing. For this one, the total cost is minimum. So this total cost is given by D by Q into C0 plus Q by 2 into CH. For minimum cost, we will differentiate this with respect to Q and equate to 0. Derivative of DCO by Q. Q is variable, D O D C O is same, 1 by Q is minus Q square, derivative of Q is 1, so C H by 2, solve this for Q square, that will be economic. So economic order quantity is Q equal to under root of 2 D C O upon C H. If you put this value of Q in the original equation of T C, you will get minimum value of T C minimum. So T C minimum is D into C O upon Q, that is under root of 2 D C O C H. So here one of the D cancel and one of the C O cancel, C H will come in numerator. Instead of Q, we will put again under root of D C O C H and to C H by 2. If we solve this, we will get under root of 2 demand C O multiplied by C H. So total minimum cost is under root of 2 demand multiplied by ordering cost multiplied by holding cost.